Now that I'm in my last year of my 20s, my word for this year is surrendering. What's up y'all? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Desiree, but you can call me Des for short. And wow, welcome back to another vlog. I feel so rejuvenated. I feel so relaxed and whew, I feel so good y'all and the reason why I feel so good is because I just got back from my trip my little birthday getaway trip to Scottsdale Arizona why did I decide to go to Scottsdale specifically uh because it was like really hot it was like 100 degrees the whole time I was there but I always wanted to go to Scottsdale like I just always wanted to go to Scottsdale, Arizona for some reason. So I was like, you know, this is a perfect time to just go. So I decided to just uh, book a really nice uh, luxury resort called the Scots. That's where me and my friend stayed at um, the last four days while we were down there. And it was just a beautiful, beautiful experience. 10 out of 10. It was just what I needed. And on top of that, our room had like a little balcony with the window. It was just so, so relaxing, y'all. And I had such a great time. I need a break from reality, my day-to-day. -day, and I feel a lot more relaxed and rejuvenated, y'all. Really do. And I'm about to go ahead and import these, the Arizona clips right now. And then we'll discuss, like, what's going on today and for the rest of the week. So let's check out Arizona real quick. Original, original, original Pimari When they say it's bad, I'm not in mind, I tell them it's my life Man, I'm chilling in the studio, man, I'm vibing, it's my life I'm to play, then they use me to play Man, I'm vibing all day, man, I use me to play Spitting for me bars, me I never back down One, two, three, me up on the countdown Man down, if you test me man down Original bad man, me I run down Then try to downgrade, bad man free upgrade Then try to evade, bad man free evade They can't believe it, they love how I speed it They know I'm gon' kill it, now they know I'm gon' kill it When they say it's bad, not in man, I tell them it's my life Man, I tell them it's my life These stocks just trying to make a million Spitting these bars from deep down within You already know it's a killing when I'm spitting If you're a hater you can see me when you see me Hold on me not telling me they hold on Calm down me they telling me they calm down Man down, huh, it's a man down Bad man, they my them I see me round When they say it's bad, I'm not in man I tell them it's my life Man I tell you when you see the man I'm wiping it's my life I'm to play they use me to play Man, I've been all day 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 I, 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 I Original, original, original Original Batman, oh, eh, oh, I VQs, fun the vibe, fun the vibe So as y'all saw, Arizona was lit, it was fun, and it was a great time. So I'm just happy that I went to Arizona and I went to Scottsdale specifically. And as y'all saw from the clips, we had a great time. So today is Wednesday? What is today? today no, today's not Wednesday. Mm. Today's Thursday. Today is Thursday, and I am headed to 
go to the store to get a card because one of the ladies that I work with since I have known since I was 18 years old today is her last day at work at the college I work at and she has been such a instrumental part in my educational journey I I'm gonna go get her a card because I'm just so grateful and thankful for her there's certain people who show up in your life who come in your life and and if it wasn't for that person you know you you know wouldn't be where you're at now and she's one of those people because the support that I got um in community college was top tier I would it was better than the the support that I got when I transferred to UC San Diego when I tell you my community college experience was top tier was absolutely amazing because I had literally higher education professionals pour into me and to be the great cancel that I am today is because of them so today's her last day and I am feeling so like sad that she's leaving but I'm also very happy for her but she doesn't look too far from where I live so I can always visit her at her house so I'm gonna stop at Rite Aid get her a card and a gift card head to her the head to the um where I'm going I'm going to head to the school and then I'm going to go to the gym. I have a 12-15 class and then after my 12-15 class, I am going to head to um, back home and I need to fold clothes and different things like that. But yeah, today's Thursday and then Friday, I'm going to the gym, doing some errands and different things like that. And then my birthday Saturday. Um, I'm also having a little get together. I'm meeting my friends for, we're going to Tipsy Putt it's called, so it's like mini golf. And I'm meeting with them tomorrow at 6.30. So it's like basically my birthday weekend or birthday week as you can say. I am doing and then my birthday Saturday and I'm going to the spa y'all. I'm getting another massage <laughs> so yeah this weekend is really just a kind of like a birthday weekend real chill weekend and just celebrating and taking it easy yeah y'all gotta go 919 just want to pop in start this vlog off and yeah y'all make sure you follow me on instagram and i do have a tiktok but i'm not like super active on there but it will mean a lot if you guys follow me on my new instagram and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so so yeah let's go ahead and get into the video <laughs>
up y'all today is sunday and i am about to head and go to church and i haven't checked in with you all like since yesterday when i was at the resort but we're gonna talk about it later because i had such a great birthday like yesterday it was such a amazing day I am so thankful for all my friends and my family and just really thankful for the Lord to see another year. Like when I think about it, like, yeah, I'm just really grateful. You know, sometimes we take life for granted and to turn another year older is such a blessing. And yesterday I felt so much gratitude and just I just was so thankful and grateful for just my life, right? And so I just been feeling so good and 29 um it's kicking off to a good start. <laughs> this is day 2 of being 29, but yesterday was such a great birthday. I mean, uh I felt so loved. I had such a relaxing, amazing day going to that resort. I went to the Four Seasons, y'all. <laughs> I think I mentioned it, but ciao treat yourself because you only get one life treat yourself and so it was just so amazing like i really don't treat myself like that all the time but i'm trying to do that more and travel more and just like do all the things i want to do right and i feel called to do and yeah it was just such a great day it was such 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 a great day so i'll talk a little more about yesterday my birthday and all that and then also i want to kind of do like just a little chit chat about you know entering your late 20s my last year of my 20s and kind of like you know what are my intentions and different things like that we just want to do a little chit chat about you know almost being 30. <laughs> so I want to talk about, you know, my intentions for 29 and just, yeah, some reflection of things I learned at 28 and different things like that. So anyway, I'm running late to church, but I want to show y'all my cute little dress that I got from H&M. So I'm wearing this dress that I got from H&M. I got it from the outlets, super cute. And this is what it looks like. Okay, 
very flowy it's just super cute and then i'm wearing these earrings that i got from amazon i believe um but yeah and then this is my hair and i'm just wearing my clark my clark shoes my clark wedges super comfortable but yeah y'all this is the look did my makeup feeling good feeling pretty feeling just feeling good uh june was such a great month y'all for me and yeah this month was amazing great month great birthday feeling so thankful and grateful so yeah y'all we'll catch up later but i'm headed to church and then after church i'm going out to lunch slash early dinner with my parents and my auntie and my cousin and then i'm gonna head back here and do a lot of editing maybe take a sunday nap you know all that <laughs> so i will talk with y'all a little later today you're gonna show the tip off spray. I'm just getting the spray. And I need extra calories. Over here and it's everything's just right here. So So how often do you charge it? Are you charging in your garage? Um, I don't have I have a what we call it like a trickle charge that I just do temporarily, but I have a wall that I just have to have someone come and install it. Yeah, because uh, in the meantime what you do you go get your car charged. Mm -hmm. Oh charge. just sit and watch a movie. How long does it take to like charge a hundred percent? Oh, okay. You, so you can make the car fart? Instead of honking, it makes a fart noise. <laughs> okay, so she got I mean, I like the outside. Control. I like the, the white. Looks good. It's, it's very just... plain. Like, everything is from here. Everything. Like You know, it is spacious. It is. Okay, y'all. I am back home from church and ha having a early dinner with my family. So, I've been back home for a good 30 minutes now. And let me just tell y'all, I am so sleepy. I'm so sleepy. It has been, whew, it has been a very long couple of days. Like I've been out and about and I'm just really tired. I'm, really, I'm not gonna lie, I'm so tired. I feel like I haven't had like, I haven't been able to like really relax and like rest since I got back from Arizona, so. Whew. But anyways, I have had such a great birthday, y'all. This year, my birthday was just amazing. Yesterday was such a great day, y'all. And I went to the Four Seasons in Napa with a friend, as y'all saw. Then I went out to eat with her. And then we went to, well, that was it. And then I came home. My family gave me gifts and I opened my gifts. And then I went to go see uh, Bad Boys with my sister. And then I ended, <laughs> ended the day hanging out with my friend Stephanie. She actually uh, made me like a little sheet cake, a little chocolate cake. And her parents and her sang happy birthday to me. So it was really sweet. I just had such a great day yesterday. And even today was a really great day, you know, going out to dinner with my family. And I'm just really, really thankful and really grateful. I feel like I'm really becoming the that that Desiree or that girl that I have always imagined for myself and I'm still working on that I'm still have goals and things that I'm working on inner and outer and I feel like my 20s has taught me so much I've been through so much in my 20s like no lie I'm actually so happy to be in the last year of my 20s because my 20s <sighs> I feel like every year in my 20s like I slowly improve myself in some way, in some capacity. And I look back at all the things I have been through in my 29 years of life. I, all I can say is I just thank God that he never let his hand off of me, off of me, my life and my family life. And that the Lord has been there every step of the way. And I can say now, you know, that the different things that I went through, I think I can thank the Lord for those trials, for those storms and the things that I went through, you know, growing up and in my early 20s and even in my mid 20s, you know, going through the, these different experiences and different things. It has taught me a lot of, about myself. There's a lesson in everything, every situation I have gone through and the Lord has taught me so much about being patient, kind to others, serving others perseverance um patience patience is, is a huge thing i probably mentioned that already but patience is something that i would say the past four or five years the lord has has really um 
has taught me a lot about being patient and I can say I'm a lot more patient I'm a lot more kind to myself I'm a lot more confident in myself like I I I feel like I'm just coming more into my style my looks I I just feel like I was never like I'm really confident now like I was not as confident when I was 25 or 21 you know and now that I'm 29 I'm just like wow I'm a lot more confident I don't second guess myself too much you know I'm just like okay if I like that I'm gonna post it if I want to wear that I'm gonna wear it if it makes me feel good I'm gonna wear it I'm gonna do that thing that makes me feel good you know everyone has an individual style look and you should do what makes you feel good and I have learned that over the years and I have just been on a self-discovery journey I have learned a lot about singleness and solitude that's another thing like I have learned so much about being confident and being alone, you know, being, having fun in my own presence, enjoying my own company, you know, not having to need to be around a bunch of people or need a guy to make me feel like, you know, to have a good time or, you know, whatever. And so I definitely feel a lot more a sense of self, you know. At 29, I can say I feel more confident. I feel a sense of self. I know what I like. I know what I dislike. I know what I want. And I just feel a whole lot more sure of myself. Now that I'm in my last year of my 20s, my word for this year is surrendering. Surrendering, you know, expectations on myself or having too hard of the expectations on myself. Surrendering what I, my future plans. Surrendering. Um, you know, the fear of possibly being like being single forever or never meeting that person, the fear of not being good enough. I'm just surrendering all my fears, anxiety about the future, about, you know, where I'm at now, you know, just surrendering all those negative thoughts and surrendering, surrendering all my career plans, life plans, future plans to the Lord. And, you know, and just having this mindset of like, you know, Lord, I'm surrendering all this, all my whole life, everything to you, Lord. Everything that I'm worried about, that I'm, doesn't make sense to me, that I, you know, I thought I was going to be further along than where I'm at now. You know, I'm just surrendering everything to the Lord. And I just want to do more surrendering and more doing and more trusting in the Lord and not just overthinking it, you know. But yeah, just surrendering more to the Lord and what he has planned for my life. Um, I used to overthink a lot, overthink like why this is happening, why I'm not further along, why I'm still single, you know, all these thoughts that, you know, as women and just people we get. But I have learned that like, I don't know the whys of life, right? But God does, but all I can do is trust him, have faith and yeah, just keep, keep working towards my purpose what he called me to do living for the lord serving other people um helping other people yeah y'all i'm excited to see where my golden year is going to take me and the different things i'm going to accomplish at 29 and i am just so excited to be in my last year of my 20s because i i'm ready for my 30s yeah i'm actually so ready I'm ready for a new decade <laughs> or a new era, new decade. Yeah, I'm ready for a new decade. I, the 20s, my 20s literally almost took me out. Low key, I ain't gonna lie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And my 20s was tough. But here I am, still standing by the grace of God. And I'm just so grateful to see another year. And I'm grateful for my family, my friends, my job. A roof over my head my youtube channel i'm so grateful for my youtube channel and the platform that i have i have built on here and yeah i'm just i'm just excited to see where life is going to take me this year and i'm definitely about to put in some serious work the next this year because i i need some things to happen this year so i i gotta put in the work y'all so yeah, last year in my 20s, and I'm so ready for it. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.